Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Rico GR102. In this series we discuss things that are not uh, always built into the camera, uh, things that might um, require an extra purchase, use of a tripod for example, and uh, if you've missed out on the Rico GR101 series that's all about the basics of the camera, everything you get with the camera out of the box, and uh, there were some other videos before the GR101 series where I covered uh, things like accessories and uh, firmware updates and things like that. But let's talk about um, filters because uh, today's video is about the release of the Ricoh GR3 and 3X uh, HDF. And that's a highlight diffusion filter built into the camera. So yeah, in 2024, we finally got a new Ricoh GR, just not the one we wanted. Unfortunately, it's not the GR4. It has a slight alteration to the lens construction that allows you to uh, add a highlight diffusion filter. Here in front of me, we have the OG Ricoh GR3. My old favorite there, this one has been out on the market now since 2019. And uh, it does not have the uh, HDF filter, the highlight diffusion filter. Or does it? Wait a minute. This is, there it does. This is the Nissi filter adapter. Uh, from the company that makes the Nissi Master Filter Kit for the Ricoh GR3 and GR3X. This adapter uh, is part of that kit. It's a bayonet mount, attaches to the front of the camera quite securely, but doesn't lock. And uh, it has a standard 49 millimeter thread in front. So you can attach basically any filter in front of the camera that you want to. So is this as good as the new Ricoh uh gr3 hdf no it's not as convenient it's bulky it, it won't fit in my pocket it won't fit in the case with this on but that's it it's off and it's on again so it's quite simple now this filter uh, is the cheap way to do it i looked at the prices so uh, the the upcoming prices of the um of the uh the gr3 hdf both for the original GR3 and the GR3X, and it is considerably more expensive, but it, that's always the case upon release. So I thought I'd like to try that. I don't want to go out and buy a new Rico GR. It's not worth the upgrade for me. If you're a new GR user, then by all means, uh, weigh out the pros and cons of the price hike and see if uh, going from one of the standard editions like this one to one of the street or urban or diary editions, uh, those are a little more expensive. Uh, the GR3X is a little more expensive than the GR3. And then it takes quite a big leap up to the HDF version, uh, adding a couple of hundred dollars or more. Well, this was, uh, I think this was a $25 uh, uh, highlight diffusion. This is called a black diffusion. And uh, they go on to various names. Um, Pro Mist, Pro Mist Filter, Black Mist Filter, Highlight Diffusion Filter. They're all the same thing. And uh, they have a rating. You can see down here it says uh, one eighth. And uh, typically you'll see a one eighth and a one quarter. And the, that is a measure of the strength of the diffusion of the highlights. So one eighth is the weakest, but still works. One quarter is stronger. And there is also a solid one. There might be a half. I haven't seen one, uh, but that's what they basically are. And that is what the camera looks like with one on. Now I'm going to um, show some, uh, some shots where I compare uh, the 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 images with and without this filter in place and uh in the second part of this video this is a two-parter because i want to keep the initial one short but in the second one i'm going to go into um uh filters in general we're going to take a, a deep dive into various filters 
and uh, the cost of owning these filters and which ones to get and the adapters you can get as well. I really like this Nissi adapter here. It's much cheaper than the original um, Rico. For example, this is the Nissi master filter kit where you get this, you get uh, an attachment to be able to use uh, square or rectangular glass filters. All of the rectangular glass filters are in here in this nice little carry pouch. All there wrapped up in some kind of paper that protects them. And uh, I think the, the Rico GA1 and the GA2 uh, lens adapter that attaches to the uh, camera to be able to mount um, a 49 millimeter threaded filter or the teleconverter or the wide angle converter. The original ones from Rico cost you a, uh, somewhere between 60 and $80, where this whole kit, the Nissi Master Filter Kit, including six filters, gradient filters, ND filters, and a polarizing filter, all of that, including the adapter and the mounting bracket, uh, that was about $100 when I purchased mine and you can buy the components separately So if you are the proud owner of a Rico GR3 and you have a GR3X You can actually go out and buy the adapter separately uh, And that is because the GR3 and the GR3X do not have the same bayonet mount uh, They are slightly different this will only fit on the Rico GR3 it will not fit the GR3 and here you can see it clearly says it on the uh, on the text here um, for Rico GR3X but this is threaded on top so I can take this off like that so we have one of these for each camera and the rest of the kit the mounting bracket the uh, the glass filters they can be shared uh, across the two cameras and uh, that also gives you the added benefit of using the square filters and circular regular filters. And once you've got a regular filter on, you can add other filters in front of this because this is threaded as well. So it's, uh, it's got a male thread on the one side and female thread on the other side. And then you can go on uh, ahead and add, for example, uh, a lens hood if you wanted to. Um, but it, it won't interfere with using a lens hood uh, if that's what you like to do so that's it briefly we're going to look at some more filters later i've done other videos on infrared and uh, graduated filters and polarization filters in earlier older videos but we're going to sum up some costs and benefits and uh, and also the uh, negative sides of using these filters as well uh, for example the uh, the Rico uh, filter adapter, while more expensive and plasticky, it does have a locking mechanism. This does not have a locking mechanism. It's just so easy to twist on and off. Uh, but you could fix that with a piece of tape on the bottom. Okay, so that is a Rico GR3 OG original with a diffusion filter on. So I don't have to go out and buy the HDF version. So I'll see you later. Here are some comparison uh, shots. Bye for now. See you in the next one.